Hi, this is Brad Smith from Beersmith.com, and today I'm going to show you the new mash pH adjustment features built into the recipe builder in Beersmith 3. Many all-grain brewers know that maintaining a proper pH during the mash in the 5.2 to 5.6 range has a variety of flavor and stability advantages for your beer. I'm going to start with an existing recipe I created, uh, Beersmith's Wit here. And I do recommend that you adjust your mash pH as the last step after you finished your recipe and adjusted your water profiles. The mash pH tools are integrated with the new water tab, so if you adjust your water salts first, you get a good estimate from the mash pH section. Uh, you can see if I click on the water tab that I've already adjusted uh, the water salts to match the profile that I wanted for this particular recipe. So now if I go to the uh, mash tab, the bottom of the mash tab, that's where I actually adjust my pH. Now Beersmith 3 supports uh, lactic acid, acid malt, and phosphoric acid as additions at this time to adjust your mash pH. First we're going to look at the unadjusted mash pH, which we can see is 5.72. It's a little bit high. We'd like to get it down in that 5.2 to 5.6 range. Um, I can add some lactic acid or acid malt to my recipe and see how it improves my adjusted mash pH, and I can actually do that right here just by clicking on add acid malt or add acid, and I could add an amount and, and guess how much I need. But I can use the little calculator on the right to get the right amount here. All I've got to do is take my uh, unadjusted mash pH and put it in here, in this case it's 5.72, and then my target mash pH, which for this recipe I'm going to go low, I'm going to go all the way down to 5.2, and then I can pick the acid that I'm going to use, I like lactic acid, uh, 88%, and you can see I, I need 23 milliliters. So if I now go up and add the acid, and it says I need uh, lactic acid, I'll pick uh, 23, I think it was 0.6 milliliters, and press OK. You'll see it's now, a, now my unadjusted mash pH was 5.72, with the addition of the acid gives me an adjusted mash pH of 5.2. And I can basically ignore the rest of this for now. Uh, however, you can also this, use this tool for a second use, which is if, my, if I actually measure my mash pH and it comes in a little high, let's say it comes in at 5.4 for some reason, maybe, uh, maybe I'm using a little different grain profile than I thought, and my target profile is still 5.2, I can actually do a final adjustment here based on the measured mash pH uh, to estimate how much more lactic acid, in this case I need 9.1 mils, uh, to add, to, to, to finalize that, that mash pH to get it exactly where I want. And this is not an uncommon way to do it actually now, is to take, um, take an initial adjustment that you make based on the estimate uh, from the recipe, and then adjust it down uh, again based on a measurement after you've mashed in. It's a good way to just double check and make sure your mash pH is right on. So that's a quick summary of the mash pH adjustment tools in Beersmith 3. Uh, for more videos as well as recipes, discussion, articles, podcasts, and uh, my 21 day free trial of Beersmith 3, please visit my website at beersmith.com.